All right, so we are going to be creating this cool little um, project, one day project. This is actually called Zentangle. Um, so you will get to pick whatever color paper. We are going to break this down step by step because it is a simple pattern. Um, so the very first thing you're going to do is you are going to pick your color paper and then we have to make a grid because if you notice these are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rectangles. So you will need eight perfect rectangles. To get that, we are simply going to fold our paper. We're going to make three folds, real simple. And it doesn't matter which way you do them. It doesn't matter. You need three folds, but you need three equal folds. Two and three. Now you will be using pencil first before you use your Sharpie. I am going to go ahead and use Sharpie so that you can see, because you can't really see the pencil lines. But you're going to do one side, the very first, the first side you're going to do, you're going to do in pencil because you're going to get the hang of it and then you're going to flip it over and do your real deal in Sharpie. You are going to, let's go ahead and trace those grid marks. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that. And I love folding my paper to make a perfect Miss Rugger would have to get a ruler out. I'd have to measure and everything else to get this perfect grid. And so that is a simple way to get this perfect uh, eight rectangular rectangle grid. All right, so to get this look that we're going to get, we are simply going to be making diagonal lines. Okay, so we will be talking about diagonal lines today. today. Now, we know that we've got vertical lines that go up and down horizontal lines that go side to side and just think of the horizon that's how you know the difference between horizontal lines and vertical lines and today we are going to be doing diagonal lines okay and we're going to be doing a very slight diagonal line okay because you can have diagonals that go all the way like this but we're going to be doing very slight diagonals all right so the very first thing you're going to do is you are going to start in this corner. If you notice, I have uh, vertices, corners. Okay, so these are my corners. And I am going to be starting in this corner right here. Now, I'm going to be using some different colors just to show you. But what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making these very, very skinny V's. So I'm going to start in this corner and I'm going to create a sideways V. Does everyone see this V? Look at this. If I have this red, does everyone see that that is a very skinny, skinny V? All right, I'm going to do the same thing here, but now I'm going to do my V. I'll use a different color. Now I'm going to just do a really uh, straight right side up V. Watch. Does everybody see my really skinny V? If I had a line right here, see my V? All right, now I'm gonna do another sideways V. I'm gonna use a different color, because I really just want you to see this pattern first. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here at this green line, and I'm gonna do a sideways V, right on the outside of that vertice. Okay, I'm gonna use a different color and I'm going to do an upside down V. I'm going to start right here at this, the end of this line, and I'm going to do an upside down V. So does everybody see the upside down V, sideways V, right straight up and down V, sideways V. And this is the pattern that we will be doing all around. Watch, sideways V, Straight up and down V, sideways V, upside down V, sideways V. And I actually go and touch that line, okay? You want to make sure you touch it. Okay, Oops. right side up V. Just make sure that you're, you're really close to your vertice or your corners, okay? Here's my corner. I want to make sure that they're friends, they're going to touch, they're almost going to touch. There's my sideways V, upside down V. Sideways, right side up, sideways, upside down. Now look, I'm getting a little too far away right here. The more lines that you have, the more little uh, squares or rectangles you have in there, the better it's going to look. Sideways V, 
straight up and down V, sideways, upside down. Sideways, straight, sideways, upside down. Sideways, straight, sideways, upside down. And you're going to keep doing this until you get to the center. Okay? Now, where you're going to make your mistake is when you're making your V's, you swing them way too far out. If you swing them way too far out, my sideways V, my upside down, you're going to end up right side up, sideways, upside down, sideways. See how it's not going to, it's going to look more like a spider web. So you want to make sure that you get really close to the vertices. Look at the vertices or the corners. You want to make sure that you get their friends. You want them to almost touch. And that is how you're going to fit way more lines in there. If they almost touch. Almost touch. See, now there's my vertice. I want them to almost touch. And this is the pattern that you're doing all the way around. This is one line, boys and girls. This is not a bunch of lines. This is one continuous line that we are doing to create this. Now I slowed it way down so I'm going to kind of speed up just a little bit to show you what it looks like when you get the pattern down and you will. You'll get it down pretty quick. And then that's what it's going to look like. And you're going to do this all the way across and it's really going to create a really cool um, 3D illusion, little optical illusion. All right, and I don't think I forgot anything. You'll do this all the way across. The brain loves patterns, so you're going to really get into the flow once you understand that pattern of a sideways V, right side up V, sideways V, down, uh, upside down V. Once you get that pattern, um, your brain, your hand and your brain, it's, it's really going to flow. These are also, I don't know if you noticed, but they're almost like... Um, if you know what a parallelogram is, it's almost like one continuous parallelogram inside of another par parallelogram. Um, so that's really what it is. That's all it boils down to is it's one continuous parallelogram inside of another. All right. Have fun. Good luck.